Hey Bo, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is going to be content, and that is anything you can see here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google typically wants to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. Um, so your website looks great. I love the layout of everything. It's very organized. It's very user-friendly. Um, so fantastic job. My only suggestion would just be probably to add a little bit more content onto your homepage. Um, that way you can integrate in those keywords. And we also obviously want to appease Google so they will rank your site with those words. Um, but like I said, fantastic job on your site. Everything looks great. So we'll move on to the next thing, which is citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack. And citations have, again, a lot to do with that. So what a citation is essentially is your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would wanna check out where your competitors are being listed and you wanna grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10 and then add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here as well. So moving along to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So um, let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other vape companies that send something back to your site, and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique in Google's eyes as well. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So your site currently has 10 referring domains, which are giving it 85 backlinks, getting it found for 88 keywords, and all of that is driving about 66 people to the site per month. And now here's one of the top competitors. So they have 54 referring domains, which are giving them 538 backlinks, getting them found for about 1,700 keywords, and all of that's driving about 1,000 people to their site. Now that's just monthly. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using here and let's get some ideas. So we're looking for buyer intent keywords. So that's anything that someone would actually think to type into that search bar um, when they're looking for a vape shop. So uh, for instance, while we're looking through this, a good one would be, let's say, vape shops, North Carolina. So that would be a great keyword because it's listing that service or uh, industry, but then it's also listing a specific location. Now, it looks like you all are selling products on your site, so you don't even necessarily need to just target one place. Um, you can certainly target the entire United States if you want to, because someone simply just has to go on your website and purchase a product for it to be sent directly to them. They don't have to visit like a brick and mortar store. Um, so I hope that that at least kind of gives you all kind of an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into the content on your site, but I will not bore you and have us go through all of these. But I do hope that that helps. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as we talked about as well, always making sure too that you're adding on to that. That way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google.
But that is all that I have for you today, Bo. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your week.